but the Patreon one? No, it, it was no, it was actually. I actually trans- read that episode. Yeah, wasn't that wasn't that great? That was a good one. That was a very good one. Grim, oh, Grim is all get out, but yeah. Yeah. No, but I mean, it, it's when I read that, I was like, wow. I mean, just as like a little one-shot sort of like sci-fi story that was very uh, imaginative. Now, now you say that you need the tea. Good. Yeah. And you needed it bad, and you finally started feeling it towards the end of the program. That's right. What does it do? That's the thing. Make the, you high? The, the programs get good. Have you noticed that the show is usually, like, going into, like, the last 15 minutes oh, of yeah. the show? It's good, and I finally figured out what's going on. It takes a couple of, our show's a couple of hours long. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes a couple of hours till the, 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 by, the by the end of the show, we've had enough tea we're, we've become stimulated. You know? <laughs> mm. we should, uh, we're we should, on a tea high. We should bring in heavy red mate. Mm-hmm. We should bring in some mate sometime. Mm-hmm. That'll get yeah. us all stimulated. I'm just hoping I'm someone will start bringing like tea yeah. cakes, pastries. Uh, and <laughs> I said I was going to. Well, I was. I had the. I had the intention yeah. of bringing some of my famous Your brownies, coffee. but I didn't. I, well, that's. I'm going to do that next I'm, week. I'm but a better afraid of sugar sandwiches. I was shooting You're today. Do you want yeah. some? Sh- no, I stopped eating they sugar, so I can't bring tea cakes. Well, did. So like just yeah. Non sugar tea cakes. I'm pretty sure some yes. president got I don't. Oh, I have a friend Jackson named Justin. Johnson. Miller Fillmore. It wasn't Miller Fillmore. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna tell. I'm gonna tell this. I have this friend named Justin. I may have told this before. And he, and he says, and we had this friend who, who was making vegan stuff. And J- Justin says, vegan means nasty. <laughs> he says. He says if someone says to you. I have a vegan brownie. That means I have a nasty brownie. If someone says, would you like a vegan muffin? That means, would you like a nasty muffin? <laughs> <laughs> no. That's true, though, except there is this uh, really awesome, uh, it's called the Vegan Texas Sheep Cake that they have at Green Life, and it's incredible. It's so good. It's Lots like of times chocolate. vegan is medicinal tasting. Those are vegan. This was on... Um, oh. oh. It's like this Unless little sheep chocolate, chocolate cake. Maybe one of them looked like chocolate. Chocolate. I well, imagine, you know, one looks like milk chocolate. I imagine the, chocolate. the first six months of veganism are pretty bad, but then actually, you then you have you force yourself to um, you know actually cook good food. Otherwise, you'll go back to eating the dead flesh of little bunny rabbits. Oh, I was going to say <laughs> once all the protein had really removed itself from your nervous system, uh, then, <laughs> you know, then you know you just didn't care anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not. <laughs> We're saying that. you're. Uh, Prime zombie and all that, but more about that. I have prime well, fish for breakfast. Well, you know, you know, <laughs> very good. Breakfast. You know, some some men who go vegan kind of get wussified. Uh oh. You don't want that to happen. <laughs> I thought no. you, she was going to say like, you know, infernal or something. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wussified. Oh, wussified. Wussified. <laughs> wussification. Wussification. Exactly. Wussification. It's a proper it, scientific term. Wussification. The wussification of vegan. I mean, we. I, I notice at some of the places around town where a lot of vegans hang out, uh-huh. that the it's men look like they've been wussified. Uh-huh. And they, have, <laughs> they have been wussified. Uh-huh. They need a hamburger. Yes. I don't know. I I like a nice hamburger every once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, so I, don't let I, that I will happen. say this. For the first, like, two or three years of being vegan, your sex drive is insatiable. I mean, you just can't, it just really doesn't matter. Yeah, you can't, you just can't do nothing about it. It's just, because you're cleansing, you know. And then after about, you know, seven years, and then you start becoming a wuss, depending on your body type, but it's time to stop cleansing and start building. And uh, it's... Uh, do you think maybe it's because they're not getting enough protein? Because you can get a really high-quality protein yeah. uh, that's... Not necessarily animal I, orient, orient from animals. If you watch what you I need do. to write a book really about this, but my, my latest theory dirty. is it depends what, okay. what kind of uh, really zodiac really sign you are. Oh, you, really? It not, doesn't have anything to do with protein, it's if zodiac. You, yes, if you're an dirty. earth sign, veganism oh, is fine. If you're a fire sign, don't watch do out. it. <laughs> don't do it if you're a Sagittarius. It's good in spurts. It's good for, you know. I have a spring and summer, summer's fun. I, I have a theory, and it has to do with Does our teeth. Does she hate teeth. you? 
Probably. When, when they, <laughs> when they dig up a, 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 a an animal, <laughs> let's say a But that doesn't necessarily mean that all Sagittarians are hateful. They say, yeah. oh, this well, was a... There's a variety of other reasons why all Sagittarians are hateful. This was carnivorous, or this was herbivorous, or whatever. Yeah. Or they can tell what the animal ate according to what kind of teeth it had. They said, oh, well, it has the kind of teeth that are used to rip flesh, so uh -huh. it was a meat eater. Mm -hmm. yeah. A carnivore. Or, right, or, it, or that says... Or an omnivore. Yeah. yeah. And and we have both kinds of teeth. We so are, we're omnivores. Right. We so, are evolved omnivores. Right. So we are omnivores. So yes. we are That's supposed to eat flesh. Both. Mm -hmm. Flesh. And there are people that can open beer cans with their teeth. Yeah. What kind of teeth? <laughs> right. Those are slowly evolving. You, 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 you have to admire the force of nature. That's a butterfly. De-evolving. I think my grandmother is actually. She's. she's You've got some she's good um, teeth on you. You could open a beer bottle. And she's actually evolved this groove in the back of her teeth where she opens up her bobby pins to put in her big oh, hair. No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my she's God. Evolved this bobby pin opening groove. It's probably yeah, groove yeah, I used to have her I, 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 I had one of those. She ate woman. bobby pins. <laughs> <laughs> years of doing that has probably evolved. Yeah. I had a groove Grown from uh, where I used to uh, break thread when I sew. Mm -hmm. I did the hand sewing. I had one right here. Because I had the little points on the incisors here, <laughs> but then one day I decided I want my teeth to e be even, so I took a nail file and really? just piled them oh. down. And, yeah, and when I told That's my dentist this, he, he says, "Why aren't your incisors pointed?" I said, "Because I filed them down." And, and he, he goes, "Like I can't believe that." Did he say, "Don't do that"? Yeah. It's already it's done. <laughs> See, I want someone to file my canines a little sharper because I think it's cute. <laughs> well, you just do that. Take a little nail file and just sharpen them up. One of the body modifications I'd like to do if I, you know, had a lot of money and decided, you know, not to be a straight uh, looking guy anymore is just to have fangs. I would like fangs. Yeah, that's Fangs insane. would be good. Or Big silver get, fangs with little runes on them. That was what I wanted to do. You can get braces where, um, and you can tell your dad, if you fun. wanted to pull, they can actually pull down your, your canines a little bit more than the rest. They can hmm. make it so that it shapes your teeth to have. <laughs> yeah, you and David Bowie both can get a fang job. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Not this time. I think they put. They, I think they put little screws on you that can actually screw in new teeth. Oh yeah. Oh, so wow. you can. You I can think. I bet you you, you could get those fangs at a costume shop with no problem. Well, yeah, but they'd be a stick on. Kind. Well, yeah, yeah, but you could try that and see if you really liked yeah. it. Well, you know, oh. that would be a good thing to try out for. This would involve me getting a job where you know, wouldn't having large canines is not the Exactly. You know, because in the corporate in a phone bank. Probably in the corporate world probably in the corporate world fangs would maybe do okay with the CEO, but otherwise no. We'll soon have no tea at all. Oh, See, I mean, you can you can do it to the point where it's okay. noticeable, but subtle enough that it looks like maybe you just naturally have so much sharp mm -hmm. canines. I've I've noticed a lot of really pretty, gorgeous women have like mm -hmm. cute little things. <laughs> Back on the subject of um, veganism, you know, we we've uh, progressed to the point technologically where we can make totally cruelty-free flesh. I mean, you can grow yeah, you can grow it any type of meat you want in a lab. And it'll taste delicious. Just give it time. Not even time. They got, what are you feeding I mean, it? give it time, and then they'll actually. Oh. Yeah, you know that. That's probably Glucose. the future. Glucose, I guess. I mean, hmm. I mean, they're just like. I'm sure that's the future. I don't. I. I. I don't know if that would be cool because you know I. I know uh, that I have a friend who raised pigs, and and he gave them high protein and made a huge difference in the flesh. Well, yeah, and I mean, if he did but swill. But, but you, you, would, you would I put the ingredients in that would produce the best quality of flesh. And once you smell burning, is the, that lamp. Okay, that's, okay. that's what that's what burns. I just think it would be really cool to open up a fast food restaurant chain where you made all the meat for your um, hamburgers in the store. That is huh. scary. But you, you can order anything. Don't like a slaughter pan in the back or something? Hyperburger. What? Hyperburger. That's what I would call it. Hyperburger. Yeah, you could get like a rabbit burger, you could get some um, ostrich tinders, it'd be great. Long well, pig, I'm a, I'm a fancy I'm have all the animals back, 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 back now. Back now. Back now. Back now. Fancy stuff. Call it Arc Burgers. Well, yeah, definitely. <laughs> and on the subject of omnivorism, uh, I definitely think Americans have too much meat in their diet. I don't think we were meant, I don't think we are evolved to get as much meat as we tend to eat, because we were oh, meant yeah. to 
mostly subsist off of foraging, hunting, and Bye gathering, and everything. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 We're mostly supposed to subsist off of foraging, and every once in a while we take down a mastodon and, like, get the big, you know, infusion of protein, which is probably why meat tastes so good and why there's so much of a craving, because it was so much harder to get. Therefore, we're that much more motivated to go out and chase something down and whack it to death. See, I just, I have a problem with being a uh, vegan or vegetarian just because as soon as I wake up in the morning, the first thought that goes through my mind is bacon. <laughs> and I just can't, I, I can't help it. Bacon, now, where do you get your bacon? Well, I don't always end up eating bacon, but I usually eat like bacon, turkey sausage, bacon. or eggs, or some kind what? of or turkey bacon. Oh, yeah. If I go, I think maybe it was, I, I was sort of raised on the zone diet thing, mm -hmm. you know, where you kind of balance the amount of protein and the amount of mm -hmm. carbs that you eat, um, and yeah, I just, I don't know, that's, that's just what I like, and so if I wake up in the morning and I eat breakfast, I'm not going to eat just a bowl of cereal, if I do that, I'm going to eat a piece of cheese or something, some kind of protein. Bacon! Bacon in the morning, bacon! So I'm too lazy morning, to make bacon. Bacon, you eat bacon at supper time. Talk about technology. Bacon. Technology. Yes. Yeah. I got an email today from Jen W. Uh, Bowen about the top 20 technological nations. And the U.S. has fallen to number seven. Whoa. Yeah. Who's one through six? One, Japan. number one. Finland. Is. No. Uh, no. Japan? No. Denmark. Denmark. Oh. Denmark. Denmark. Wow. Denmark. Go Denmark. And uh, I think uh, four and five are Sweden and fin uh, Finland. Number 10 is uh, Norway. Uh, remember, just certain ones. Number 16 is Germany. Number 17 is Austria. And rounding out the top 20 is Estonia. <laughs> nice. I, for well, I, for one, welcome our Nordic Those overlords. Estonians, boy. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. well, so what about, Estonia. I'm curious about New Zealand, because I'm thinking about moving there. How is it? That's oh, I, difficult. I don't know. I didn't see it. The um, citizenship requirements for New Zealand are fairly strict. Really? I heard it was really easy. No, nope. uh, it's a small island that everyone wants to move to. That they keep acting people out. But we fall into number seven. And where was Japan yes. and South Korea? Oh, okay. I can't remember all of them. Oh yeah, I mean so I'm sure they were pretty. I'm sure they were there. Well, are, is yeah. that just like all technology, or Why what kind of technology just, are we talking about? Uh, the ones that are like, like. Uh, Why New Zealand? Do, uh, that that's productive of. Of uh, technological advances and just country. like they're <laughs> yeah. really favorable. It <laughs> doesn't have that. much military spending, so it seems like the quality of life. You know, like the incentives and, and the whole. Uh, There's a lot Nordic of overlords. Really All right. What's uh, that? Nordic overlords. I'm just yes. To him number 20. Again. Yeah. 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 Yes. Whatever. Works. Number Estonia one. You can get they, from that Denmark. The Nords will rise again. I don't think they really fell down all that much. But. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have some sort of. I have to bring Estonia into every conversation. Like my, yeah. my dad yeah. was a fanatic was Estonian, well, part of Estonia. Yeah. Oh, but I don't really yeah, know. That when people ask me my ethnic background, I say, uh, yeah, I'm usually a Northern European mutt. Not to get a Bible. Oh, she's so sexy. Robinson is possibly some sort of Nordic derived surname. So, I got that going for me. Uh, they, they're the ones who have the uh, habit of, like, naming, like, Dada Sun or something like that. S-E-N so. or S-O-N? S-O-N. Okay. So I'm, a, I'm a Johnson. That's, that's, uh, that's what the That's uh, Norwegian. It was S-E-N is Danish. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hmm. That's very interesting. Yeah. Yes. That. Well, you know, the, like, flaming red hair also helps well, add yeah. to the whole Viking thing. <laughs> And my tendency to howl when I hold a battle box. You know, well, yeah. <laughs> Not to mention all the Robinson brothers are a wee bit crazy. Yes. Yes. How are we doing on the tea, by the way? Hmm? Uh, I think it's still heating up. It's still heating. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Every time the teapot gets... Every time the tea, tea kettle gets empty, mm -hmm. I recommend that we put water in it and start heating it up again. Or we'll wind our up at times like this, where she's the only one who has any tea. Because I brought it. We're all eyeing for hunger. What kind uh, of tea is that? Oh, this is bad tea. <laughs> bad? Very is bad. Tea yeah, it's oh. that stuff from Target. Oh, wow. The Target. peach, peach flavor. Oh. But it's instant. You know, like now if you're on an airplane mm -hmm. and you don't want to just drink water, 
You can just have one of these little powdered packets and pour it into a bottled water. And Will they let you take liquids on the plane? Well, no, that's no the you can't powder. get it there. Oh, so that's okay. that's the purpose of the little powder. Like they can't make bombs out of powder. Well, it's you know, it's like the woman, packaged. They made her. Um, she had one of those uh, water bras or jelly bras or something, and they made her take it off because they thought that maybe the gel inside was explosive. Yeah, oh, but that's they why they made her take that. Yeah, something tells me. So the, I wonder uh, if they make women who have gel implants. That's what I was thinking. I was yeah. thinking. I was thinking about gel implants. Could be. Could be uh, suicide New. bombers. They suicide could, bombers, gel could. implants. I'm so you can't right fly there. anymore if you have That's cohesive right. gel Fortunately, implants. Fortunately, Al Qaeda is too misogynist to ever think of that. <laughs> <laughs> too late now. <laughs> it's now it's, it's just, just now that that'll hold world. them yes. back Actually, in the long run. There is a strain of fanatical Islam. I forget the name of it, but there is such a strain that they purposely drink, smoke, and basically. Sufism. No, 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 not, no, 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 Sufis do that as well, but that's because they're all weird mystics. No, these guys do it as they're training themselves to be infiltrators. Oh. They're getting, they're like stealing themselves up so they. So this kind of yeah. like infidel training. Yeah, yeah, infidel, infidel 101, that's what it's Yeah, infidel training. 101, yeah. Oh, right. sure. I'm signing up for infidel sure. training. <laughs> Well, yes. Uh, and, and, how many, and, how many and how many virgins in heaven do they get? After Actually, um, <laughs> they may have mistranslated that. <laughs> Who teaches that class? You only get a... No, actually, uh, the word is either virgin or date. A date. <laughs> and I don't mean like going out to dinner. I mean like the, the fruit. A oh. date. <laughs> They're very disappointed. I'm sure they well, get to have it and the they thing. just get a like, oh, date. Well, I know. Can, can you say? And, 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 and God, and God says, God says, you mistranslated. Here's your date. Well, no, the, the, Here, as a matter of fact, you get a whole basket full. <laughs> the, the, prob the, the problem is. Oh, the, I, the sweet irony of it all. <laughs> it's a convention that today's uh, Arabian, to, uh, today's Arabian is the same as ancient Arabia. And that the Quran. Is Arabic? Arabic. 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 I mean, Arabic. I, I, mean Arabic. I, I wasn't sure if you. No, I mean Arabic. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Today's horses are the same as yesterday's horses. <laughs> <laughs> no. To, uh, today's Arabic is the same as ancient Arabic. Uh, the Quran means the same thing today as it doesn't, but it's not true. There has been language drift, as is inevitable in all languages. Oh, yeah. of course. And so the Quran is a long way from virgin to date. <laughs> well, not, not necessarily. Well, I mean, thou well, should not, thou no, should not date. suffer a I've witch. I've got a date. I've got a date. And then yeah. she may be a virgin. I mean, thou should not suffer virgin a witch to prudence. live. You know, killed quite a few people in the Middle Ages, and then they actually went to a source and retranslated it and meant poisoner. Not a poisoner. Not witch. Oh, So it, that, that's just one of the things that happens. All right. Well, I like that. I, that's very interesting information. A poisoner. I like yeah, that. that yeah. That's what that's what translation actually means. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean right. well. It so it implied someone who used herbs and stuff in a very negative way, right? You know, and 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 so so our scholars just oh a witch. Well, yeah. not even our yes. scholars, our Inquisition people, right? Right. And, and, and I might ask, how long have you been a witch? I was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I would say about twelve years now. Okay. Now, is there an equivalent to the Oxford English Dictionary in Arabic so that you could actually go back and kind that of... That I don't know. I mean, that's a very good question. I do not know one. There very could very well will be one. Um, I really have no information on that subject whatsoever. Does anybody know out there in TV land, is there an equivalent to the Oxford English Dictionary in the Arabic language? That would give us the Please or origin... Please call the station and let us know. <laughs> <laughs> Burning Arabic. question in our minds. I know my um, my husband had a English to Arabic dictionary um, type thing that he used when he went around and um, when he was stationed over in Iraq, he um, he would go around and like get to know the different um, local people that worked on base and it was it was kind of interesting because he would sit down and uh, have pizza with one guy one day and he worked in the cafeteria or whatever and um, then the next day the guy wouldn't be there and it was you know, he would, and, and the guy would be teaching him you know, different Arabic. pieces of the Arabic language. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, time after time after time, he would befriend these um, Iraqi locals. And, and, and then they, they would, would get, try to kill him. No, no, no they would they would get, um, like, Death apprehended threats. for some reason or other, like, for terrorism. Thing. 
So it was like he was hanging out yeah. with these people and he was making friends with them, but really they were plotting the whole time and they would get <laughs> caught. And so I, I was always very nervous because um, you know, I would hear about how he was making friends with this so-and-so and so-and-so because he wanted to learn about the culture because he was you know, one of those Marines who actually you know, really cared about what was going on with the people. And, that was um, his first mistake. Yeah, yeah it, was, it was a bad idea. And I would get scared all the time because I thought he was going to get blown up or something. You know, so. But um, he had this uh, English to Arabic little dictionary and he brought it back with him. Yeah, there there were people in Vietnam who who really cared, and they are the ones who never got over it, and they're mm -hmm. still still in need of treatment. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he's had a adjustment. So, they tell me, I know some of them. They're were you in Vietnam? No. No. <laughs> it's in second part. What y'all don't know is, see, I'm sitting here with the headphones on, and so various, uh, I have the audio that we're feeding out, you know, it's really intensified, and the, the, the sound of the tea kettle. Here, let me pass it around. Yeah. So, so. <laughs> you listen, you can hear what our background sounds like. The, the tea kettle is very prominent. Oh, wow. See, so, 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 everybody... Everybody, it works up to a, it works up to a fevered pitch. It gets louder and louder, and then and then, whee, you know, it goes off. You know, it's it's like, you, we might want to turn it the other way, the the spout, so that when it does go off, yes, exactly, yeah. it won't scald any of us. Who else wants to hear? <laughs> but, but you can hear the it's it's like this grinding noise, and it starts out it starts out sort of groaning and moaning and squeaking a little bit, you know, and then it works up to a regular growl, and after a while it's, it's bouncing, and then it goes, whee! <laughs> so it, 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 it's, so it, it, it's kind of like a musical thing where, like, you know, music builds up to a crescendo, you know, it, 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 uh, it has a tendency to, to add a, a, a certain tension to the whole conversation that is, that is building and building and building. Yeah. So have you guys put in a, uh, enough of a shameless plug for our show today? Watch Mount Dungeon, Thursdays, 11 p.m. Watch it. Okay, excellent. I feel better. Okay. I'm all about shameless <laughs> I see you, plugs. I see, how long have these shirts been around? Have they been around for a long no, time? No, no, no. They're just brand new? This about one's like five, two hours old. Yeah. Okay. yeah. This has existed for about 48 hours, yeah. and this was made on the fly several hours ago. I've been stretching right. it slowly over the past two days, because it, when Most I first put time. it on, it was, I, it was a, it had a tubular effect. Uh -huh. <laughs> it was so you so were, tight. you're working on it, huh? <laughs> this is great, because earlier I demonstrated what I needed to do uh -huh. to get this thing um, uh, stretched out. Was I, I put my hands inside the shirt and went... <laughs> 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 Stretch out. So I, I was going to ask if we were going to have a demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> Did we have demonstrations? That was, that was, but it was inside the shirt. I recommend that's, that's all that, would work that people bring show and tell, you know, something <laughs> that they have to demonstrate, you know. Whatever. I, uh, next, next time I come in, I'm going to bring my uh, riding crop. Uh oh. <laughs> she feels she has to wear dungeon on her shirt. Yeah, I, I feel like it's appropriate. Well, I did, however, bring some other props. Oh, you brought oh. some show and tell? Oh, oh yes. Is I it I a did. live animal? It is not a live animal. Is it dead? Animals? Animals? Bring a live animal. It is not Transformers, though I am occasionally known for bringing Transformers. It's the sock puppet. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Which wrong or made out of real socks? Made yes. out of real socks. Uh -huh. I see. Where did you, you find such a tiny little um, <laughs> sunglasses? <laughs> uh, a bunch of doll supplies at a craft store. Yeah. Craft store. Oh. oh, dolls. But it's him. You, you get see? It. Oh, it's you. Okay. <laughs> it it needs like a little hat. It's your luck child. <laughs> I, I've been calling it his doppel sock. <laughs> <laughs> See? The uh, doppel sock. <laughs> the hat is not a constant thing, but I'm always wearing these glasses, uh -huh. so. Oh, those are your prescription glasses? <laughs> these are prescription. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I see better with them than without. Uh -huh. I mean, anybody want to give it a... I believe you. <laughs> I feel like I need a pair of bombers. I could use some sunglasses right now, though. This is a very bright light. Yes. Oh, God. And they're yeah. not, they're not even I mean? put on full power. Our, our, our lights right now, we're, we're, we're running half power. Mm -hmm. 
I just got a nice uh, light set last night on eBay for for, for twenty five bucks. You did? What's Are you like the size? Like, 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 it's yeah, 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 everything's just uh, out of focus for me. Wow. Yeah, on the stands, it'll go it's up to six bad. feet, uh -huh. so that it breaks down. Like, it's got three of the ones shaped like that, and that's about all I need. I can put it between rocks and each one. Some of the stuff I can see. So I do more indoor than outdoor. I can read the Mount Dungeon off of our flyer that we put up there. More shameless well, plug, but now I can't. I can. I can't. I, can. I can read it. I can't. I'm on like eBay. A yeah. I have a tendency to hit eBay too, and I'm looking. I've been looking on eBay for some things hey. to add to this Stolen. thing. Uh, yes. Like what? Uh, a, a switcher, so mm -hmm. that we can do multiple. You know what's interesting? Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, there's like a special effects so that we can do. Yeah. The, uh, TV do we there. can do fades and wipes, and so that's that we can we can actually take it. I got a, a, a PDX 10 for 1100 on eBay. Yes, you did. Mm -hmm. yeah, I a 10? A PDX 10. Uh -huh. I think that's the 170, isn't it? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, but I got a 10, no, and, it's, do leave and it that works wall good. In there. Why are you taking it out? Well, I was going to put more tea inside of it. I just filled it. Oh, there you go. Yay! It's been sitting there waiting for its water to be put in it. I got up. I went to the, the other room. We're working off of this tea right now. This is... Daffodil tea. Do you, you want, want to read uh, what, uh, the other side of the thing? But you can see what it is you have. This is the shape of the cinnamon don't, tea. Don't is compact, <laughs> and curly, uh, and shapely. Its nice. color is cyan and brown. It smells very light, cassia bark. The fine has oh, milk fragrant. I'm reading strictly. This is, this, is, this is written this by is broken a, English. This is written by a person who may have never actually heard English spoken. <laughs> oh, yeah, so it smells oh, very like it smells very like cassia bark. The fine has milk fragrant. It will still balmy even Shit. after a long time dipping. Huh? After dipping, the tea leaf will become a light yellow, which will some obvious red point on the surface. Okay. <laughs> I so love there that. you go. English, I love they that. call it English because of the, well, I don't know, it's not really, that's really Japanese and that's a Chinese tea, so it's a little different, but there's a... They both speak English. So. Yeah, I'm, 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 well, it's I'm speaking English. I have, I have a good friend who, who speaks English. I'm, I'm, I'm learning English. I'm speaking English pretty good now. Well, the, the, but the, the phrase English itself is, is a reference to how the tea. Japanese R and L. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Problem, mm -hmm. you know, where problem. The, the L's they switch for R's mm -hmm. and vice problem. versa. So problem. There's a there's actually this really great website called English.com. You can go and they Blah people Blah. go around the streets Blah. in Blah. various countries and take pictures of T-shirts and things that have like. Or there's this one that's really great. It's a um, I think it's a spoon and napkin packet you get on a Japanese airline flight, and it says. This spoon will make you spirit free feel like running horse and wind. <laughs> and it's just like. <laughs> there's, it's a, a spoon. Uh, there's a show on in Japan. Evidently, it's, you're required to take English, um, but you're not required to be very good at it. And basically, they, this um, American goes around asking um, Japanese people to say something in English. And oh. the results oh. of their attempts are very, very funny. That's great. <laughs> As a Transformers fan, I have discovered more than meets the eye. Badly translated into Japanese and back into English becomes the truth that the eyes have met before. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah. It's just it's in great. another. Oh, well, uh, yeah, facts for you. Would you like to deliver? Is that how it's happened in the dictionary? Oh, uh, this is from one of our, our regular guests who's not here. Well, read it out loud. I'm not going to. Okay. I'm going to read it. I'm going to, don't point that at me either. Oh. You take that to you. Okay. Yeah. I, I really wanted it to me, but if I would have pointed it at me, people would have thought I was pretty